Hello my lovelies, Buttercup Joe here from Strand St. Margaret near Stanton Fitzwarren, Wiltshire, England and there it be in all its glory, my man shed and you know what I'm going to say, because I've said it before tis the most wonderful time of the year why is that? because it's Six Nations, isn't it? and it's all kicking off again this weekend, isn't it? first game is uh, Italy versus Wales in Rome at the Olympic Stadium now that could be an interesting game that Wales won their last game, Italy lost their last game well I reckon that Wales are going to win that one I think they'll just clinch that over there, I think those Italians have come out all guns blazing but I think Wales will weather the storm and win that one over there now the next game is England versus France now that be in HQ, that be in Twickers, that will be well, they'll be gathering up there, won't they? Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah. In that North Car Park, they'd be having that champers at Twickers, that Cristal Champagne and all that. Now, I reckon that's an interesting game. Because those Frenchies in the Six Nations have been very disappointing, really. I mean, they, they, that's a team that were in the final of the World Cup and just lost it. So they've got a lot to prove. But I think England will clinch that one. But I think it'll be very, very close. Now they got that Andy Farrell. Oh, he's a good kicker, isn't he? He's worth 12, 15 points. And, oh, it'll be amazing up there. There'll be, oh, dancing in the streets there and all that. Those Frenchies, they're good supporters. They'll be coming over in their droves, wouldn't they? Because they look a bit the old roast beef, really. They don't tell you that, wouldn't they? And then you got the other game, and you, up in Scotland, in Murrayfield. Scotland versus Ireland. Well, well, well. That's a difficult one to shout as well, you know. Ireland, well, they've done okay, and they Scotland, well, they won that classic game against Italy and all that. But I think Scotland's going to win that one. I think that they're on a bit of a renaissance, and it could be a, a, a great win for Scotland and all that. So that's by their predictions. Now all these games, if you're not lucky enough to go to them, are on BBC. How good is that? None of that Sky TV rubbish. BBC. You get in front of your television, or go to the game if you can, get yourself a curry for half time and <laughs> some of that lovely natural dry cider or whatever you drink it. You enjoy Six Nations Rugby, because it's the most wonderful time of the year and the best rugby tournament ever. There you go then. That'd be Buttercup Joe signing off from his man shed in sunny Wiltshire. Tis always sunny here lately. Look at that, middle of February. Tremendous. Okay then, my lovelies. Bye-bye.